the long run trend has clearly been to increase the rate of growth rather than to have a fall off in the rate of growth. Now, it's not hard to figure out why this is. It is true that there's a finite amount of every natural resource on the planet, but what we can do is figure out different ways to use a fixed plot of land to grow crops. We can invent fertilizers, we can rotate crops, we can uh, figure out ways to use the fixed quantity of resources or even a smaller quantity of resources per person, use them more effectively to get more value out of those resources. So growth here means growth in the value that we as humans receive from the economic activity that we participate in. If you want a good illustration of what it means to come up with a new recipe to increase value, if you took some ordinary ingredients from your kitchen, water, a little bit of sugar, uh, some salt, maybe a bit of banana, and mix it up in the right proportions, instead of making a kind of weird drink, uh, energy drink or smoothie, you can make a liquid, liquid that will save the life of a child who is dehydrated because the child's been uh, infected with something like cholera. And this recipe for what's known as oral rehydration therapy, it's just a way to use in the right proportions water, salt, sugar, and some, some other minimal, minerals to create a, a liquid that's easily absorbed in the gut of a sick child and helps them restore the electrolytes and the water that they need, they need to survive. So you can take these ordinary ingredients from the kitchen that might be worth pennies to you, and you could turn them into a life-saving liquid that would be worth the entire wealth of a parent trying to save the life of a child. It's that kind of discovery, that kind of idea, just mix them in these proportions that uh, leads to more value out of the same, the same resources. A growth rate now and going forward should be, should be faster. And as more and more people all over the world engage in this kind of search for new ideas, the growth rate should speed up even faster. And the set of new things we can figure out to do is so large that we should, uh, we should just assume that there are all kinds of ways to do something that we want that we haven't yet discovered. And if we focus the attention of the market and the system of science on a problem, we'll find a solution which is much less expensive than what we think it would be or what it would be if we had to solve it given what we know right now.